Uh, I would like to ask you uh, the equivalence between uh, hearing the sound, keeping the scene run, or thinking of the master. For example, if you walk outside and you hear the sound, is it as best as, uh, as uh, keeping the scene run, or thinking of the master? Simran is the beginning. The first exercise when you hear no sound, you only do Simran. And there also, you listen to the Simran. It's a sound. The sound of repetition of Simran is the first one that you have to listen to if there is no other sound. When any other sound comes, you can drop the Simran, listen to the sound. If the sound is faint or disappears, revert back to Simran. If the master's image is needed and it comes up by itself, repeat the Simran to make sure it's not your mind playing tricks. With initiation, the Simran becomes empowered. They become charged words, which when you repeat them, the mind even cannot make up the face in imagination or visualization of a master. Therefore, if the image of the master comes, use Simran. Just for trying to catch the sound, use Simran. When any sound appears, listen to the sound. If it does not make any progress, if it is sound that is not the real sound and after a while you find there's nothing happening, then switch over to Simran again. Okay. Yes. I was asking what? you why outside? Why walking or working? When you're working out when you're working outside, only Simran. No sound. Sound will come automatically yeah, all the time. If it is there, can you keep your attention only on the sound without Simran? Is it equivalent? When you're working around, sound will, if you have practiced the sound, sound will always be there. Yeah. So is it equivalent uh, as keeping Simran? This was my question. Yeah, when the sound is strong, no Simran is needed. Okay, thank you. Okay.